Hey folks, uh, welcome to the uh, art talk with our featured artist, McKevin Shaughnessy. My name is Bob Foster. I'm the director at the Hoboken Historical Museum, and we're broadcasting from the upper gallery. Uh, this is the title uh, card from the exhibit. Uh, and do we spell McKevin right? I spelled it, so yeah. Okay, it's cool, right. cool. So uh, first of all, <laughs> McKevin yeah. and I have yeah. known us for many years. Yes. And welcome, McKevin. Hey, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure to uh, do something in the museum. I'm usually here a lot, but yeah, not, I'm, not up here. So. Sure. I, I should say that we, you know, McKevin is not in the museum uh, when the public is here right. uh, for the most part. And I kind of say McKevin is our secret weapon mm -hmm. and his specialty is graphic design right. and also exhibit design. And, uh, you know, you're mm -hmm. such an important part of the museum and, uh, Here's uh, here you're a little more in the spotlight because you're doing an exhibit in the upper gallery. Yes. So uh, talk to me a little bit about your the subject matter that you have displayed in the upper sure. gallery. Sure. Well, so this uh, I guess it started. Um, we have to go back to 2007. I, um, I took some shots in 2007, and actually uh, I think I emailed them to you because I was trying to find them, and uh, so. The bricks were painted this kind of like a blue color, and then the trim was in white. So I'm going, you know, block to block, looking for a blue building with white trim. And meanwhile, they had like totally a power washed it back down to the red brick. So I, I wouldn't like even look for it because it's just like not, you know, what I'm looking for. Then you found it, and you said, but it's not like what it was. And so, you know, email volley back and forth. And, and then you said, but there's actually five other buildings on that block that also have heads. <laughs> so that whole entire block, which is really cool because it, it's uh, they're not next to each other. So uh, but it's got the same brick pattern and uh, they got each one, I think, has nine heads. So that so, adds yeah, up pretty fast. Just to step back a little bit, yes. we're, you're not interested in the buildings per se. What are you interested in on these buildings in case people missed it? Right. Well, it's the heads themselves. So I, I had to draw, I guess, some guidelines here, like what was allowable. So these are architectural heads that are put onto a, a building. Usually they may be over a doorway. They could be a keystone head. So it's an archway. They'll be at the top of the arch. Um, Sometimes they're, you know, hidden. Uh, a lot of times they're actually behind uh, trees, uh, leaves. So when I started in, uh, it was right around Thanksgiving, the leaves were starting to fall off the trees. And then I had some, uh, I was off that week of the, you know, Christmas and New Year's. So I'm out there with my little metal camera. Hold up that yeah, camera. Yeah, this little this tiny camera. This thing is camera. amazing. Like, it, it's um, like the size of a pack of cigarettes. It is, but it's got a little zoom on it, so it zooms out. And uh, so I, I couldn't wear gloves, and it was actually pretty cold in the wintertime. So I'm out there with my bare hands trying to photograph these things. Um, so, you know, but it was like, uh, I don't know. I guess you have to do that if you're dedicated to a cause like that. Of this. course. So, yeah. Frostbite <laughs> is just part of yeah. it. Um so in a funny way, this is the perfect project during COVID. Yeah. I, and actually, I have that. Uh, there's that phenomenon where you see heads in, in nature. Uh, I think it's periodola. So I have that, which I love. It's like, uh, like I have this uh, Persian rug at home. And there's heads in the rug all the time. And I keep seeing more. And then my screensaver, <laughs> there's... Um, uh, it's basically like a, kind of a frozen scene. I, I keep seeing more heads there all the time. But these these heads, these, these are, heads real. are real. These, these are heads real heads. Are real. They're not imaginary, um, but they're all different styles. They date back to maybe like the 1880s going up to maybe the 1920s, um, late 20s. Uh, some of them are modern, and I am including them because they're they're just unusual. Uh, and then some I'm actually deviating that they may not be exactly on the house, but they're connected. So there's a, a, a set of uh, dragon staircases 
And so the railing actually touches the building. So I'm like, okay, we're okay with that. <laughs> so you set some perimeters yeah, here. Right. And when you say they're hidden, um, I think they're, they're there. I think but... they're hidden only because we're not looking at them. So right. they're there all the time saying, yeah, I'm, I'm up here. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, most people are walking along. It's, it's not anybody's fault. I mean, we don't have eyes on the top of our heads. So, you know, you're looking forward or you're looking at your phone or whatever. you got all this stuff going on um, in your own mind. You know, what you're going to do, what you have to do, what you haven't done yet. So you're rushing around. And for, you know, for me, I, I wear a baseball cap. When I go out, I just put a baseball cap on. So there's this visor that kind of like goes over my head. So I never saw what was going on the second floor, third floor, fourth floor, because it was blocked. So, um, I mean, I knew a few of them. Like there's uh, obviously the two heads on the top of the terminal building. You you see that because- Which are right behind Yeah, me, oh, we have actually, somebody. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So when you're going up the stairs, you know, boom, then you're finally, you're out to street level. You're kind of, there's a sight line that happens and you see the two heads. So those I noticed, but you actually in that area, if you go to those heads, you've already passed like, you know, seven sites. It's like, so yeah. just kind of impress us with how many heads you yeah. located around the Okay. Hoboken. So, yeah. So there's been a couple articles out where they're saying 540 heads and counting. And we're actually up to 555 heads now. Um, there's 88 sites. Um, there's actually, believe it or not, one block from this museum where I'm sitting, there's two heads. So okay, so but when yeah. you say there's been a few articles out, yes. you've been supplying the numbers, but they yes. every day you're adding more. Right. So I have to I have to thank Melissa uh, Melissa Abernathy. She wrote a uh, the write up for the museum. Then there H Mag did a great one. Uh, that's uh, Christopher Halloran. And then we also, there's a little article in the Jersey Journal that came up on my phone. Um, I think that's Dave uh, Masca, da uh, David Masca. So and I think Hoboken Girl is doing Hoboken, something. She might be so doing something. You're sure. all out there, but yeah. you're, you are the source for these heads. Yes. The, I'm, this is not, you know, what I normally, I'm, I'm in the background. I, I'm in front of my computer, click and click, click, click. So this to me is like surreal here just you know being right. able to uh, so they're gonna have a nickname for you you know yeah um and again one of the reasons they're hidden i guess yes. you would say is because many of them are pretty high up they're some of them are really high up right yeah and, you have to almost get a uh, binoculars it, it or something. is uh any research on the derivation of how this got started I would say, well, um, you could go back to the like the Middle Ages. They used to put uh, things on churches, um, and a lot of them were pretty scary because they wanted to scare you into like you know, you know, going to church, <laughs> make a donation, yeah, yeah. or whatever. And then it kind of uh, became that people started putting them on their houses, uh, and a lot of them were also scary because they wanted to ward off the evil spirits. But then I think it evolved into let's deal with them as decorative and let's start putting them on. And I think because, uh, you know, New York, there was a lot of stuff. New York has a huge amount of heads there. So all that stuff was going on there. All these architects were working for that. Then you had people coming over here in, in Hoboken. You had a lot of uh, wealthy people that were moving in. And I think they just wanted to do that too. Let's put how, you know, heads on our houses too. Right. And so an architect designs a building yes. and then they, you know, the owner decides mm -hmm. like maybe from a style book, what type of face. Yeah. Now this is weird. I'm going to, this is coming up a little later. We have a picture of a head that's uh, at the base of a chimney and uh, the, the mouth on this head is enormous. It's like a, well, see my hands. It's like that big. Okay. <laughs> and it's like a wide mouth uh, bass. And then the ears are like these ribbons that like just go right like out. So for me to think that there somebody wanted to put that up on their house, they have to have a sense of humor because it really is. There's nothing else on the house but that. 
right. and it's way up there. You have, really would have to like crane your head back to sure. to see it. Um, I know, like I've taken tours of the Woolworth Building in yes. Manhattan, and inside the lobby, mm -hmm. they have you know pretty ornate uh, figures like this yes. in, uh, up on the eaves and things. I'm not sure about the outside, but mm -hmm. the inside, mm -hmm. and they'll talk about how um, the architect when they were designing these, the faces, they mm. used faces of like Mr. Woolworth or the foreman. Right. And things I like that. am seeing some of that. There's one, uh, it's a house on Hudson street and it's got 19 heads on it, which is like, that's what I thought was a record. Right. But there's actually, so when other you sites. say there's 500 plus, yes, it could be the same type of figure. On yes. Building. So there's one, uh, there's one corner, which I refer to as the mother load corner. And we're actually going to see it a little later. Um, so it's a huge apartment complex. Every window above every window, there's a lion head, but I'm counting that, you know, it's just of course, like, it, of course. And then way, way up at the top, uh, underneath the cornice area, they have these heads, and those are all identical as well. Right. Uh, but like that one I was talking about, that we're going to see a little later. It's a it's a bank. Uh, they have these lion heads on it, and every single lion head is different. So that's kind they're of they're different. They're different. Yeah. And the other cool thing is um, the teeth are actually human teeth, like really? not real human teeth, I but understand. they patterned it after. So they took the fangs away. So. So probably, you know, they designed it, they put the fangs in, right? And then, uh, you know, the the people that make the decisions, oh, that looks too scary. We can't, we can't have it. You got to take the fangs out of there. Right. Yeah. Or is the dentist's office. Or right, exactly. Like so okay. I thought that was interesting. When I zoomed in, I'm like, wow, that's like, you know, uh, like a human mouth there with the human teeth. You well, know. the you know when people yeah. come to the upper gallery, uh, yes. which we have an opening on Sunday, yes, from I'll two be to here. five, the Kevin will be here right. with his uh, hidden faces. Yes, and uh, the prints are really beautiful. Uh, not you. only are are you noticing people that uh, faces, I should say, mm -hmm. noticing faces that most people just walk by. Yeah. you're photographing them in a really strong graphic way. Right. Uh, you really zo zoom in on it. Yes. And uh, and the lighting is beautiful too. Well, some of these, you know, you, uh, there's one where it's almost sunset, so you're just getting you're getting other buildings in the way that are blocking it, so it's in shadow. Right. And you get this kind of shaft of light. So um, most of these yeah. prints are in black and white. Yes. And can you talk a little bit about black and white versus well, color? Yeah. Now the thing that, that a lot of these heads they they date back to like the 18, you know. 1880s, 1890s. Well, at that point, you were dealing with black and white. You didn't color hadn't you know really happened yet, so they just seemed to uh, read well that way. They they, they felt like they were uh, timeless. You couldn't tell. Uh, there's actually one right behind me here. Um, that's up on Stevens campus. That one is very unusual because that that to me looks very modern. Um, just mentioning, yes. uh, looking at the screen, uh, yeah. Dave Carney has uh, signed in, <laughs> oh, and he's he's driving. Oh my God, uh, Bob, this is great. Just yesterday, I was driving down West End Avenue in the city with my daughter, mm -hmm. and I pointed out these buildings just yesterday. So West End, New York, I'm going to say. Um, West End, so Avenue, okay. Where do you think? So it's West right End? on the water. Yeah. yeah. Um, West End Avenue. So he's probably talking New York. Yes. Um, so uh, uh, that's that's good, but be careful driving out there, Dave. Yeah. Okay, uh, cell phone and looking for hidden faces can be dangerous. Sure. On there. Yeah. Well, uh, that's the thing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking up a lot more, so I, I'm worried I'm going to trip over something. That's right. That's right. So, and not only do you have to look up, you got to look up on this side of the street, then you got to look up on that side of the street, right, right. and then you have to look down too, because some of these are actually below windows really? so i i mean it must look weird i'm walking around and my head's going right, up right, down right, right. Up. i've gotten a few phone calls mckevin <laughs> yeah who's you? that strange yeah, guy laura's been calling have you seen mckevin yeah. wandering around right. um maybe we should go to some visuals yeah right? okay and, we'll do uh, that we and can, speaking uh, of my wife she's actually there so um the one on the left now this is where i'm deviating there's uh all of these that that are going to be in this book essentially that I'm working on because there's so many you can't fit them in a show. So this one is inside. This is inside the waiting room of the, the Lackawanna terminal. 
uh, used to work, and it says ice water down at the bottom, and it's a lion head. And uh, it turns out that uh, about a third of the heads in this town are lion heads. So this is almost like, you know, symbolic of the rest of Hoboken. So, it, you know, it's like when you come here, you're going to see a lot of lion heads. And that one's yeah. almost a little iffy, right? It's kind of like a plaque. Yeah, it's, it's a plaque, uh, yes. Yeah. So, but it's, uh, it's interesting enough that I thought I, you know, if I didn't mention it, uh, and my my wife Laura uh, Joe Alexander said you got to put this in. Uh, okay, she, that's why it's in. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. And I think she's right. You know, it's uh, um, you, if you come to Hoboken, this is this could potentially be your first stop in Hoboken. So this sounds like. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm sort of riffing off what you're mm -hmm. saying, but sounds like the perfect thing for a walking tour. Well, yeah, but it would be like a three-hour tour. <laughs> well, that you end up on like a desert island, phases. right? Like, okay. Yes. Um, I think we have to do a walking tour. I think we, yeah, I would have to pare it down. I mean, there's, uh, there's over like there's like 17 sites just along Washington Street alone. Right. Right. And, you know, we're talking a lot of those have multiple, most of them have multiple heads on them. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You've created a, a monster here. And so the middle slide so is of the terminal the building middle one, from that, a postcard from our collection. Right. Now, the reason why I wanted uh, to include this, uh, this is going in the book, is this has the two heads on it. But look at that sign. That's about two thirds the height of, of the entire building. So you're going to notice this. You're going to be looking up. For the so, sign? For the sign. But it's not there anymore. No, it isn't. So back in, in 1911, you know, 11, right. yeah, you're looking up. So I think it's a sign. And here is it is that today. The rock from Prudential? Yeah, or it says. Or something? Yeah, it says um, Prudential, uh, Prudential has the strength of. Out of Newark, Newark, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then to the far right is the same building without the sign. Right. And so you're just seeing the two heads. Okay. And those two heads. Uh, are on display here. Yes, not seen. taken. Uh, and, there's uh, three or four when shots. We eventually, go back to mm -hmm. us. You'll see them behind sure. me, and there yeah. they are. They are. They're a little different uh, than some a lot of the other heads, uh, just material wise. Yeah. So I think that these are uh, cast concrete, and right. then they're painted, mm -hmm. and then they're also painted in a metallic silver and a metallic gold to kind of accent the her hair and then the helmet. Right. Um, I'd say, you know, in the 30 years that I, or plus that I know mm -hmm. Hoboken, I think I've seen at least three different paint jobs on sure. these uh, ladies. Right. And uh, this is the most dignified one by sure, far. I think so. Uh, for a while there yeah. in the 80s, they looked a little garish. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, who's ever in charge of aesthetics for the building, I think did a pretty good job sure. on these. And, and the lighting is beautiful on Sure, that. well, th this was taken in three different times of the day. So I have kind of mid-morning, and then it's getting on their sunset, and then I have it uh, when they actually turn the lights on. So it's that kind of dusk, you know, right. where it's the I sun has the set. the material for this building is mm -hmm. concrete. Most people yes. think concrete came in much later, but there is kind right. of a concrete boom uh, before World War One, sure, and uh, like the Lipton Tea Building, mm -hmm. I think is concrete parts of it. Right, um, exactly. So it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go back to some more uh, of our mysterious hidden heads. Right. And so, just be careful. You, do, I, I actually didn't go through the slides, yes. but we are going to be running a contest. Which yes. We'll give the details so later. I, so if any of these heads appear in the contest, right. you don't want to. Say exactly where they are sure even if i ask right so <laughs> but we'll leave that for you to uh find these sites yourself but this building um actually i almost have to explain what this is this is not on the contest okay go ahead yes so uh once you get out of the path train if you turn right and you cross the street there's an old bank building there uh, i think the avocado uh bedding is in there so on on this side that we're facing here, this is the south side, there's 12 lion heads. And if you look closely at all the lion heads, they're all slightly different. They're different? Yeah, they all have, yeah, you have to right. look at the mouse, yes. Huh. <laughs> so the cool thing about this building is you can actually walk all the way through it. So you open up the doors, there's a corridor. Right. You walk all the way through it. When you get to the other side, you go out the other two doors, 
you turn around and you're now at the north face and it's identical to this. So you don't see the back of the line, you see his face. No, it's it's identical. So you've got 12 on this side, you got 12 on the other side. Right. So and you're noticing something that most people don't even see. No, it's kind of the same. This is on Hudson Place. It's, it's so like a little trying, alleyway, yes. Yeah, they're trying to get their cab or whatever. Sure. They're out of there, and they're ordering their food on the phone mm -hmm. or whatever. And um, we, Tiffany says, Lipton T Building is all concrete. There you Built, go. I believe, in 1910. 1910. I think Tiffany's you, right Tiffany. on there. I just like to give myself a little wiggle room. <laughs> And this uh, is my Laura wife. Alexander, uh, you, as we say, your better half, uh, says that she's worried about you crossing the street and looking up. Yes. Normally, I would say, Laura, you're worrying too much, right. but I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, so we're going to get a hat from a Kevin that has a, a it, clear, it have, yeah, a clear <laughs> bill so that he can, right. uh, you know, have some protection sure. <laughs> on there. So back to this image. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we'll go on to. I'm we, sorry. Just okay, go say, ahead. So this is on Hudson Place, Hudson the Place. Cobblestone Road, yes. down by the train station. Yeah. Now you, most people just when they they're walking, they to completely pass this. They're going to pass Texas, Arizona, or up to right. the terminal. You know. Sure. I'm so this. Right. Yeah. So this one, it's there, and the heads are actually kind of small. They are in relation to the whole building, right? So, uh, I, and but I'm going to say most people don't notice them, and I'm going to say one percent of the people, mm. or just you, notices that they're different. <laughs> just both. Okay, would you agree? Right. Yeah, I, I will go. You know, I was passing out these cards to people, and I would go into the buildings that had the heads, and they didn't even know. And they're going, "Who yeah. is this guy?" Right. Okay. I mean, I had the, one guy, um, you know, I pointed to the head down below, and he, and he starts talking about the lady who used to live there. Um, she had a head. And I'm handing the card to him, and I said, I have you lived in Hoboken? You know, um, and yes. And I said, so if you had to give me an estimate of how many architectural heads there are in town, what would that be? And he kind of thought for a little bit, and he says, um, oh, about 10,000. <laughs> So I said, whoa, okay, well, we're not quite that high. We're up right. to 500. At that point, it was 553. So I, I actually uh, found two more because I had to hang this show. Um, so, you know, it was after midnight and uh, um, I'm leaving. And, uh, you know, there's two heads so, yeah. a block away. Okay. So we have got to take a different route home every yeah. day. You're going to find more. Um, right. Well, and I'm, so this one is really yes. unusual, and it's not too far no. from where yeah, uh, so the lion heads. If are. you were, so you walk through the building, you're on the other side, you're looking up, see all the lion heads. If you turn around, you're going to see this thing. Now, this is a great clock, and and I think everybody's trained to, when you see a clock, you look at the clock face. And I have seen this clock many times because I had to commute. I took the ferry into New York. I did my job in Manhattan, yeah, which is actually move to Hoboken. Um, and that's a lot, a lot of the reasons why I actually found a lot of these heads is because I was taking a different route. Um, so I started noticing, you know, all these other things. Um, there were heads up there too. Uh, but this one, so here I am, I'm looking at this clock and down below the clock, there's two fish and there's a, like a clamshell a scallop, uh, yeah. scallop down below, you know, below. So these are terracotta. And um, again, they're they're fish, right? So um, and this clock, I don't think has no, had, uh, but you and I in, a, in our lifetime. No, I mean we we have fixed a clock before, so maybe that's another clock. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is um, uh, what's known as the Hoboken Land and Improvement yes. Building. Yes, in fact, the logo uh, up at the top. Owned by Jerry Baker, yes, uh, prominent attorney in Hudson County, mm -hmm. right a little bit south of the post office of the main yes. post office but this is in that little nook space which is also cobblestone yes. between the bank of that bank building yeah and Hudson if, you, Place. if you kept walking you'd see there's a yeah, statue but it's really up on. high on the building yeah, it it's is a narrow space yes and there's a tree there yes. So most people have never seen this right so and of course the reason why i could take this shot was because there were uh, there weren't any leaves on the tree right yeah because so, it looks like you're 
you must have done some proportioning oh, to deal with the I, angle. I did, and I was on my tippy toes. I was <laughs> standing on the building, really. Right. With uh, my camera way I, up. <laughs> right. I know this clock well. Yeah. And uh, there's not, this is probably the most ornate piece of terracotta in mm. Hoboken. Terracotta is a. Right. Uh, a clay material mm -hmm. that's, I believe, poured in different forms. It's sure. Beautiful material. Yes. And we've done a few lectures on terracotta in Hoboken. And then I'm just pointing out the initials, which are in that cursive script. Yes. Uh, and they're all interlocking. Yeah. Because it's over, you know, it's kind of interweaved. Yes. And I believe it says HLC in there. So that's Hoboken Land. Improve. I see Hoboken Land and Improvement Company. Company. Yeah. which was the holding company for the Stevens, Stevens. family sure. when they started really developing the town. And, and it's yeah, a beautiful and is, building, a beautiful is. clock. It's interesting. We probably should go talk to Mr. Baker and say, what would it take mm -hmm. to get that clock working again? Yeah. Uh, just money. but uh, Right. It would be, it would yeah. be nice. And then Melissa... <laughs> uh, Hi, and Melissa. Melissa wants to, can we talk about how beautiful these photos are? Okay. Um, okay. Yes, we did sort of <laughs> glaze over that one. And, and we always say whatever McKevin does mm. is really beautiful. And we have, when we see McKevin's design work, which we'll see later in his mm. photograph, photographs, mm. uh, I have a, it's almost like a verb, I guess, or maybe it's a noun, but I say it's <laughs> McKevilicious. Right. Uh, and so this show is McKevilicious. Okay, we're going on to some more shots. Okay. Wow, beautiful face. Yeah. So this is actually, there are two on this building. This is which the, building? Uh, this is actually the Hamilton, um, which is on Washington Street. Right. So oh, already, right. yes. I got confused. I yeah. thought it was on the Hoboken Land and Improvement. Building. No, this is, uh, so there's a, this is, she's the left side of the arch. It goes all the way up over the door, and then there's another one. But the reason why I like this one is because it doesn't have this the little metal box, you know, to be type stuck sure. on the building. Right, right. Um, and I, yeah, she's just that thing is almost like a hat that she's wearing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, so this type of uh, this is the same, I guess, stone carver because of the you see the way the leaves are and they have that kind of patterning in it. Well, there's a, another house that has the same one. So you so recognize I, kind I of recognize the element. the craftsmanship of the stone carving mm -hmm. that it probably re must have been the same stone right. carver. Right. And you do see this like the, as I'm going around because I'm looking for heads, but I'm noticing a lot of other stuff. And there's just some certain architectural styles that we see again and again because um, they, they had done work in, in other buildings. Um, so that's cool, too. It like. Not only am I seeing heads, I, I'm, I'm seeing all this other stuff that's so up there. So this and, sounds weird, but yeah. do you dream about heads? Um, you know, that's right now. It, you know, I say it became an obsession. It really kind of is because um, I can remember, you know, when we weren't even up to a hundred yet, and emailing you and telling you, and you're like, "Wow, keep it going!" And I finally got to seventy-three heads, and I was like. You know, well, we pro probably pretty much exhausted Hoboken at this point. <laughs> then I found the one that had uh, 110 heads on it. And that just like kicked it way up there. 110 heads on one building. On one building. And then across the street, there's 15 heads. So I, that's the one I noticed first. I, I went, I was taking the pictures. I came back. I looked at them. The sunlight was too strong. The shadows were too harsh. I'm going to go back there, right. re-photograph them. So this is a cloudier day. I go there. Take the pictures, right? Hmm, satisfied. I turn around and I see a, a but you know, across the street above the window. That is that a lion head? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that that's a lion head, right? So <laughs> then I'm like looking at the the next window and the next window and the next window, and it, you know, you you go all the way up to the top, and I'm like, oh my god. So at that particular visit, I counted those heads, right? And a third visit. I realized that you could go around the corner and there's a whole nother side of the building. So, so you got 65 on the one side, 45 on the other, and then 15 across the street. You know, um, so I mean, I had a huge smile on I mean, it. How do you keep count of this? Um, 
well, if that's the thing, I do I'll pull back and I'll do like a uh, like a just a pull away An shot. shot, and then you take that home and you start counting okay. it. Sometimes I'll use Google you have a Maps. Head clicker or something. Or what? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go through some more heads here. Right. Sure. Oh, I'm sorry, Laura. Laura says he would come home breathless. <laughs> I found 36 more. I know. Heads. So the eyes are all, they go, okay, you're doing fine. Yeah. By the way, we're out of butter. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Laura has been putting up with a lot. Yeah. Lately. Okay. So yeah, I love that this one. one. Is beautiful. Yeah. And so this is, a, there's actually a stretch of uh, consecutive houses, and they all have these. This wow. is done in like the grotesque uh, style. Right. And this is actually a half man, half. Uh, you know, goat, I guess. And um, some of the other ones are really bizarre. Right. So you, this one has a slight green patina. Do yeah. I, am I making that up? No, or? I mean, there's actually a lot of, uh, it's very dark. So I had to lighten these up. When uh, I lighten them up, then that you, the more of the colors come out. Uh, and actually half of this, they've now, you know, steam cleaned these to get them back to the original stone color. And uh, so they're much brighter. So I'm going to guess, as yeah. a visual person, you mm -hmm. probably like them patinated I and, do. and the face they yeah, preserve in a sense. Yeah, because this almost it gives it a very kind of theatrical flair to it. Like these are, you know, the, the deep chiaroscuro shadows. And uh, right. yes, right. I'm sure there's like discussions about that. Mm -hmm. Do you clean them up just like statues? Or yeah, do you well, they tend to look much age? more recent when you do clean them up. Um, so yeah, it is a debate. Right, and pollution would add to sure. you know aging these hair yeah. and so on. It's interesting. But there's some of these actually. Uh, so below the windows, there are more details too. Right. They may not be heads, but there's there are some that do have heads. Right. I mean, I pride myself of of noticing things mm -hmm. in Hoboken. I used to joke that if someone took a picture of a crack in the sidewalk, mm -hmm. you know, just the sidewalk, not yes. like the curb or the building, I could tell you kind of where it was. Mm. But I, you know, when you said you were in the 500s for heads and you were yeah, so I was pictures, totally blown away. I would I'm living here all couch, my life. I'd almost. be on the couch yeah. and I'd be talking to Holly <laughs> and go, McGavin found 20 more, you know, and Holly would go, oh, he's obsessed. But, right. uh, but I just think it's the coolest thing that here is this time where mm. people are being very insular. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cold. You got the pandemic. Right. And you're out there. You can't really. You it know, was such a positive thing people. to have that happen. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I do a lot of work for the museum, and it had to completely shut down. So it was, you know, all the things that I would have been doing for right. you, we couldn't do. So I'm like, you know. Okay, I got to keep busy. <laughs> so, and you know, it's a metaphorical, you know, looking up, you know, it's a positive thing. And it really, really was because, you know, you're looking for these and all of a sudden you spot a head and it's like looking at you, you know, and so you make this connection here. And uh, I mean, the only annoying thing for me was I have created this map, you know, and I have to keep updating the map. And depending on where I find the head, if it's in like the middle, then I got to change all these other numbers. Oh man, <laughs> the numbering thing. Yeah. And since you know, I just found two more, I have to add you know the eighty-eighth right. one now. Right. So what you do you know. do? You have to. Is there a yeah. program you can just? No, it's no. like manually. Right. And then swipe, do you keep type all those in the new number, swipe. numbers close to each other, or well, I have. Yeah, I mean, what's happening is the um, this uh, graphic design terminology the leading is getting less and less the, the line is getting closer and closer right and the point size is going down down because i'm trying to keep it on a two-page spread right and, and eventually this will be a book i and think it so deserves people, to, yes sure. if nothing else it's like okay here's 2021 we still had that many heads you, you know and, and i know there were more I mean, right. apparently there was like, there's like a code factory that had a couple of like two to three foot tall gargoyles. You had one that um, was taken off a building. It's not something. from Hoboken. It's not from Hoboken. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I can definitely see, uh, I mean, there's one at like seventh and garden. Uh, there's, it's, there's one head and then there's another head that's missing. Right. 
Right. And so you can take the Google Maps, you can go back in time, and I can see when they were, had the two heads up there. So, right. And in a sense, you're creating a database yes. of all these heads, yeah. and we could say it's right. a, a census. <laughs> it's, it's a census, and it's also, it's like, it's like, hey, there's this this uh, another cool thing about Hoboken. Right. We have all this, and we're, you know we're keeping it, we're preserving it. Sure, I think sure. that's really important. Okay, we got some a few more heads yeah. here. Yeah. Of course, we're not going through all five hundred and fifty no, plus. No, I yeah, it would be crazy. And this is probably one of my favorite heads. Yeah, and it's one that's very noticeable. Right. Uh, and when you say yeah, it's less hidden, uh, but you do have to look up to see it. Otherwise, you won't see it. But this is much larger than most it's, of the heads. It's enormous. I, I can't imagine how big it must be. Right. And it's cast concrete, mm -hmm. so it's not going to... I mean, people, if you have a building with one of these on them up high, mm -hmm. you do have to be aware of safety issues if it's not maintained. Right. And it'll come down. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are cast concrete. You yes. Said, right. And uh, they're beautiful. And... We were talking before about some of these are based on mythological characters. Mm -hmm. and Yeah, we, Rand actually has that information, okay. which he's going to send to me because yes. I didn't know who she was. Right, right. And uh, a great helmet for sure. Mm. Okay. So, again, this is up on Stevens campus. Uh, this building, actually, it's a fraternity house, and it has three heads on it. Uh, it's a beautiful building, um, if you can go up there and see it. I've only found this one building up there. So if anybody else knows of any up on Stevens, uh, let me know. Obviously, I'll, I'll include that, you know, in the book. Sure. I mean, it, yeah, I guess you're interested where some of these are, but right. chances are you have documented them. I, I think I, yeah, I think I found the lion's share of uh, the, lion's share. Okay. <laughs> the heads, but, you know, there's like, Really, Tuesday night, I found two more heads. I right. so um, I almost want to tell you where they are. <laughs> don't, don't. Okay, more heads, more sure. heads. Um, All right, so this is going into this is like a sample spread here. Uh, this is, so this is showing you uh, two banks. Um, so this is the TD Bank. Uh, this has a eagle up on top. Um, there's actually, uh, I guess. Uh, well, there's 10 eagles in town, so this is one of them. So there's nine others you have to find. <laughs> and are you including the eagles on the top of City Hall? Yes. In fact, that, that's one of the sites. Um, that's uh, if you got to do that. There's also the owl on um, the library. And that's funny because the, the American flag, if it's not a windy day, it, it kind of obscures uh, the owl. So right. that one is hidden just because it's behind the American flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a beautiful layout. Sure. Yes. Very so this is, yeah. so this is uh, another spread. This is showing you the postcard. I want to include that. And then uh, there's the, the three times a day. So here, I think you really can see the progression of uh, the blues and how the color of the head does change. You know, the, in the evening, it almost becomes this like green head. So yeah. I, I kind of oh, like that. That's because of the color of the that's, light. Yeah, this like a mercury vapor light or something. Yeah, which uh, records with daylight. Yeah, records differently. But later on in the evening, the lights become so bright that it's really hard to take a picture. So right. this is the only time where I could actually get it to actually get the detail. Otherwise, it gets just blown out. It's, the lights are so bright. So you have to time of day is important. Mm -hmm. You know, you could go there and it just you know will be too early or too late. Right. So uh, Jamie Lambert is saying beautiful. Photos. Oh hi Jamie. And oh my maybe God. Jamie seen yes. you out and well, photographing around. That's my uh, my sister's daughter. Oh sister. Yeah. Oh yeah. cool. My sister's okay. daughter. Yes. Sister's daughter. Yeah. Some family support. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Huh. And. Uh, all right, so here, so this is the mother <laughs> load, mother load, mother load corner. So Adam Street and Fifth. It's it's pretty easy to recognize when you're here because that school building there mm -hmm. looks like a castle. So yeah. when you see this castle, I mean, it just in itself, the building is cool because you know it's a castle. Um, but then there are the fifteen heads, and I'm only really showing you uh, one, two, three. Or so there's uh, what well, five heads here. So there's right. another ten on the building to be found. 
And then, uh, so the one at the page on the left, uh, that's kind of a pull away shot, the very first one showing you the building. That's the corner. And then uh, this is a zoomed in shot showing you what's way up at the top underneath the cornice area. And then below that, that's showing you the lion head, uh, kind of a decorative element that's on top of every single window. Right. And that really bumped the numbers up. You know, I think one of the things special about Hoboken mm -hmm. is its built environment. And I think you said yes. 1880s, you know, to World War One, yes. And that is the heyday of these that's types of definitely, heads. That's definitely, definitely. People really took pride in the architecture mm. and individual details like these heads. And mm. it's amazing. They're, <laughs> you know, most of them are intact. Tiffany Fisher, I lived in that building. It's amazing. Never realized all <laughs> the heads. Yeah, I mean, that's Hoboken. We're uh, worried about, or did we move the car for street cleaning and making right. sure we're home for that important Zoom meeting? Mm. And, uh, you know, who sees all these heads? So you're making us see yeah. Hoboken differently, which is very cool. Yes. And then you can also just appreciate, uh, in general, the architecture here, because there's really a richness uh, of all this architecture. And I'm going to maintain that COVID, you know, mm -hmm. we can't say too many good things about COVID. No, I but... would not have done this without the pandemic happening. Right. Because <laughs> it was just a, you know, it slammed the brakes on. Because you, you, you do, you're just, you're day to day, you know, you got to do this, got to do that. And you're just not taking the time to appreciate all the stuff that's there. And so this really would not have happened without that. I'm excited about when things clear up a little mm -hmm. bit and we all get our shots. Yes. Um, that we do a walking tour. Well, I would love to do that. I, I, I you know, would like to do like a fold out map maybe or something yeah. like that. Someone yeah. was talking about like a, you know, an app on your phone. I mean, you can imagine that. Yeah. In the vicinity where you are, there's like, you know, 15 heads within right. 50 feet. Yes, <laughs> so, exactly. Ping, ping, yeah, right. close to a head. You'd have to turn your kind phone like off. Social Stop. dating thing with heads. Yeah, yes. Cool. Yeah, meet me at the, meet at the head club. Right. right. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Vault. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm going to call. Uh, so it's called the vast uh, menagerie and it's kind of like that's really what we have here we have this eclectic uh, collection of just unusual things here a lot of them are animals um so this is just kind of just random picking and throwing it together here uh Ooh. so the the one the top left that's uh again on the the stevens uh campus mm -hmm. that's the top one and then below that this is the funny one I was talking about. That's the very yeah, bizarre funny. head way up at the top. I mean, look at how big the mouth is there. That's just in the book. I have closer shots, but this, I wanted to show the proximity of the, the shaft of the chimney going up. And it's actually pretty interesting too, though, the way the bricks uh, pattern, you know, goes, if you pull back, there's a lot more it stuff. It looks like that one's brownstone, which uh, will it is. eventually Chip, you know, yeah. dissolve Softer from material. pollution and the elements. Sure. The brownstone's not really supposed to last mm. hundreds and hundreds of years. No. You know? No, I guess it was very easy to carve early on. Right. And they thought, hey, this is great. But then later on, they realized that it, it just didn't hold up over right. time. Um, second row from the top, far right, you, is that kind of... Yes. Uh, can you... Can you talk about that one? Sure. So that's most, that one, one of five. Really special. Yes. So that's one of five. Um, they're holding up the top of the building. To, to yeah, the arms are floor. stretched back like it's, uh, it's been painted. Lending support. Yes. So it actually, it's, you know, the paint is peeling, but it, uh, I have a shot in the book that's showing this, and it, it actually is a kind of a wonderful texture. And that's yeah. over where? Uh, okay. So Roger this is, Kelman, one of our hi, favorite Raj. listeners, says he loves this compilation. Thank I you. do too. Mm -hmm. I wish they could be like, you could, you know, animate them and move all their face and mouths. And, yeah. You know, have them all alive. Well, they've almost become like, you know, because I know where all these are. So there's this kind of weird special report, like wherever I'm at, I go, oh, you know, I know what's coming up. Like, yes. So, but this one, um, yeah, let's see if we do, uh, so uh, let's say the let, second. Let's just take yeah. Melissa's comment. Okay, she, sure. Melissa has the pulse here. <laughs> Dude, Christie's Auction House just sold a giant digital work of art by a guy named 
people uh -huh. for 69 mil. This looks more beautiful. Uh -huh. I agree. I saw that. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I need to view people's work in a larger format. Sure. To get it. But I did see that. And yes. Just thought, oh, my God. Hmm. But anyway, thank you, Melissa. Uh, and uh, th it's just stunning. Hmm. Just stunning. Um, we're going to move on. Well, here. actually, oh, go ahead. I'm well, sorry. Yeah. So uh, in the upper right hand corner. So this is a mermaid. And there's actually 19 of these in Hoboken. Uh, upper right mermaid in the middle of that window? No, there, it's or? actually way, sorry. Um, yeah. It's above the dragon. Above the dragon. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, I was looking at the grid. Yeah, so one, exactly. Three. Right. And um, then down below, that's a dragon. There's basically, there's three dragons. It's uh, a uh, staircase. Right. The very first on one. Hudson? That's not, actually on Washington, Washington Street. Washington. Yes. Okay. So the first one has the. You wings. haven't seen the one on Hudson like that? I'm uh, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first one has dragon wings. The the other two do not. Right. But these are also their female dragons. Sure. And Teresa Ann is commenting. I have grabbed photoshops of many of these, mm -hmm. five hundred, and the face is duplicated on buildings, or is each unique? Uh, do you want? Do you get her question? Well, yeah. If there's if it's a single head, then yes, it's unique. But um, a lot of the multiple ones, they can, you know, like there's some here that are. There's the the beast one, which I guess is uh, if we go down uh, the second column all the way to the uh, second from the bottom. There's two of those. What are we talking at? The lion? No, actually, uh, keep going to your left there. So, oh, Rand, okay. keep, yes. Oh, so, that okay. one, I believe that's a more modern one. Really? Um, well, it could be an older one. It's hard, hard to tell. That's but like a big square. And it's, it's a big square. And there's actually two houses, two houses that have that. Yeah. I don't think it's new. It's very clean. Yes, it is? It is? Okay. Yeah, I think it's That's old. great. Then. Yeah. Who would do that new? You know, right. The facades of Hoboken these days are more sure. modern. So, my opinion. Uh, Melissa is back to people. <laughs> She's thinking about that 69 million. Right. People's compiled 5,000 individual pieces. So, you've got a ways to go. I guess I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. But less is more, right? But if I were to show 550 on screen now, they'd all be like the size of a, right. like a right. Cheerio size or something. Size matters. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so you wouldn't be able to see anyway, these. People's got a good agent. All okay. right. So this, this is why we don't notice things here, because you'll, you'll want to like a head over the door, and you look at this, and you say it doesn't have a head. But if you look at the numbers, it's a one and two, um, the very left photo is actually showing you that that's a little griffin, that that's what I believe is the smallest griffin in Hoboken. Small it's on the left it's side. It's a gecko. Yes. Yeah. And then on the right-hand side, uh, it's under the, you know, above the number two, there's a, a, you know, a little bit larger griffin. Uh, Roger's so that's asking, the thing you do can, need to look. Uh, Roger Kelman is uh, asking, can you tell which are carved versus cast? Well, the, the limestone ones, for sure, I think those are carved. Wow. Um, something like uh, the concrete ones, like the, the two ladies on the terminal building, that you can kind of tell that it's been cast. Right. If, oh, it's, or terracotta, if it's terracotta, terracotta for it's sure it cast. is. Yes. Um, the hard part is that a lot of these are of soft materials mm. like brownstone, right. and they are starting to erode, and then someone comes mm. in and patches them. Yes. And who knows what they're patching them with. Sometimes yes. it is a concrete mortar brown mixture and you you're not really sure what's, you know, what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. I'm going to even guess on those two that you're showing on one and two, is there something that was removed? Uh like the right where two is, sure. it looks cleaner mm -hmm. and it almost looks like it's a new piece sure. put in there because something eroded. I know. I mean, I started this uh, four months ago. So, right. you know, it, a lot of this is, sure. I'm going to have to, but you know, if find went, out more information. I'm not sure when Google Maps started, but yeah. you could probably go in and look at some of these sure. buildings. And uh, if we had old photos, mm. match them up. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess some of these, someone just said, hey, this thing is just crumbling. Let's fill it in. 
This is yeah, sure. Okay. Now, this is funny. I'm showing this because this is a detail here. So sometimes they get a little, uh, you know, they, they, they try to trick you. So you're just seeing a, a whole roll of like vines and stuff like that. Then they'll throw in a lion head. So you might not, or I might not notice this on the first trip because I, I just see that's just a row of uh, vines. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm looking at the one on the very far right there, that the bottom part that really looks like a just, mouth opening up. Oh, it does. This yeah. one is trippy. Yeah. This one is amazing. It's all right. He's like playing with us. Yeah. So I know. think they had a lot of fun while they were doing this. Definitely. Definitely. Um, I mean, hopefully we can do a little more research and mm. just get a little more about the people who did these original carvings. Sure. It's a little hard. I mean, yes. it's got to be more. Well, they didn't them. sign their names here, yeah. so you don't know who they right. were. But, but there's going to be certain ones that like, like some guy was known for doing this, mm -hmm. you know, and Certainly. you're going to see it in other buildings and someone has done their PhD on, you know, mm. on uh, uh, carvings and, and knows that this guy immigrated from Germany sure. or, you know, I'm just making it up, but mm -hmm. I think you're spurning for me a lot of interest of where, who did these things. Uh, you always see references to artisans from Europe, Germany, uh, uh, you know, stonemason type, uh, people and uh, they were just you know kind of anonymous but we know there's probably more to the story mm -hmm. so on there so uh, again uh, we have a little more to talk about but in terms of the exhibit we'd love you to come you know we'd love the audience to come visit mm -hmm. uh, the upper gallery uh, where the, the the work is usually up for six weeks and it is uh, asking an artist to come exhibit their work, a one-person show that's interpreting Hoboken. Mm -hmm. We've broken that a few times, but your exhibit fits perfectly for interpreting Hoboken. And uh, you're gonna, you know, I know people are gonna be thinking about this for sure. We have a few slides. We, <laughs> we didn't wanna just uh, focus on this exhibit because your, your connection with the museum is so strong and this is just a series of some of your design work. Right, um, this we're done for, most of these are for the museum. Yep. Uh, there's one in there for the Get that public. other one out. No, yeah. just kidding. Um, but McKevin, <laughs> um, you know, does a lot of work for the museum. Uh, and I think we started working together in 1994. That's right. That's before yeah. we had our uptown space. Right, and we, we were still in, in City Hall. We did exhibits that, like, in City Hall yes. in a very, modest way behind uh, plexi that's right <laughs> oh I, I, yes exactly um i yeah people one person sort of chimed in about like what's going on you're not wearing masks for yeah. this interview and most of you probably know already that we do have a sheet of plexi in between us let's kind of yeah, click yeah. our mugs there we go. okay Cheers. and this is a Thank beautiful you. mug that mckevin designed uh, McKevin designs all our mugs for the That's exhibits. That's true, I do. And if you need a tchotchka, uh, <laughs> you know, we got them. So uh, moving on to the next slide, we are showing uh, some of right, your book yes. project covers. Right. Now, two of these are from the museum. Okay. Uh, the 70s uh, right. show and right. then also the uh, on the Teresa Ann point. is saying, great work. Keep looking up and sharing your finds. Thank you very much. Thank you, Teresa. And it sounds like Teresa's out there photographing <laughs> too. So maybe you'll bump into each sure. other. Um, so, and then the other ones, this is just a, um, like I do this. Uh, these are more personal pieces. Uh, sometimes we'll go on vacation somewhere and I'll, I'll dedicate a book to that or uh, New York City. I've taken pictures of things in New York City, color, black and white. Uh, mostly Hoboken that's mostly taken in Hoboken and, and it's funny because some of the shots in there are of the same building but maybe a little lower you didn't see the head didn't thing. see the head no so like I took a picture of the uh, Jefferson Trust building because I like the architectural detail of one section uh, but never noticed that there were 12 lion heads up there so that's right. kind of funny interesting yeah. so same territory but different uh <laughs> Different right. eyeballs. And then I do have a little sense of humor. There's, There's that, Laura. Yeah, hi, she's Laura. Saying, well done, McKevin, and that's great. Thank you. <laughs> so the, the one up there, um, 
uh, in the upper right hand corner, there's a, a, you know, the parking garage on Garden Street. So someone does these little dioramas with uh, these plastic dinosaurs and they put them next to each other. So they almost look like they're talking. So I you're just, not counting them as no, your... absolutely not. Okay. So, but I'm just explaining that this is like one of my little funny things. Okay, here. and we know those people, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, Lois, uh, Lois Delivio? is that yeah. right? Yeah. Lois okay. House. Where is it on Park Avenue? It's actually on Garden. It's on Garden, it's opposite the uh, parking garage. Okay, we won't give away exactly mm. where it is. Yeah. Those dinosaur thieves will take them. Sure, yeah. but that would have been on my commute walk, walking back from my job gotcha. in Manhattan. And we got, we, we do yeah. want to, okay, we got some more stuff so here. So here's some, I do collage as well. Uh, so on the, the left side here, we're looking at six different collages. These are all about roughly about six by nine inch. In fact, if you see there's a bottle cap there yes, that kind of yeah. gives that one that its scale. And then... The cluster on the right hand side, these are uh, things that have had 3D printed. Right. Very good program. Okay. Ro Thank Roger you. is saying you're a, a very engaging speaker. Okay. Okay. I if got lucky. Fits, wear it. Right. Well, I'm very passionate about um, finding these heads. And so I'm excited about speaking about them. Okay. Yeah. You're so this, good this is diplomat. a stretch for me. Usually I'm the kind of guy who's, you know, on the sidelines you know, being supportive and stuff like that. So for me to get on and talk about these things, uh, it's a little bit harder. Uh, so, but it's, it's neat. It's good to share. Yeah, it's good to share. <laughs> so let's see, on the right-hand side, we have, this is a robot that I did. Uh -huh. And it's actually hollow on the inside. I have a little flashlight you can stand them on, and it'll light up so... Um, the eyes will glow, uh, all the stripes section will glow, and uh, it'll even glow out the little sides of the elbows. Then down below that, um, this is a toy experiment I came up with. It's basically a kid's chair, but they're kind of interlocking. They, they, you can hook them together. Um, so you either deal with it as like a, a balancing act, or you can then link them together. And it's really, it's, they can grow in, in any direction you want, up, down, left, right, diagonally. You can turn them in arcs. Um, so that was kind of fun. And then the, I did one that's a little spinning top. Mm -hmm. And so the bottom picture is showing you what it looks like. You turn it upside down. Right. And then the top picture is showing you what happens when you spin it. And it does spin uh, to almost about two minutes before right. it falls over, which is... Uh, Nice, and then it just disappears when you're looking at it. You just kind of see this hoop. So I thought but that was nice. But it seems like heads have taken over. Heads have taken over. I, I just uh, when you were talking with uh, me, you said to include some of the I other did, things I that did. I do. I just wanted people to know yeah. you have some diversity <laughs> I have, in your I have projects other, and aesthetics. Yes, cool. exactly. Okay. So, oh my God! So now we're, we have to talk about We are about getting that. to the end yeah. of our. You know, Look at that. Hanging out here. Okay. What's but, that? No, we are. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. Uh, I was like, what are we going to do? We're going to have to play charades here. Right. So we are, we were trying to think of another way to engage people. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, just as we we're talking here, we, we brainstormed about doing a walking tour. You're doing right. a book, mm -hmm. but we just figured we should do a contest. Right. Sure. And so this contest is opening up right now as we speak. And what you're seeing are six faces that McKevin has photographed. Each one has been designated uh, with a letter. So we're, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, or A, B, C, D, E, F. Mm -hmm. And we are saying, go out and find these heads. And we are offering cash prizes. It's $150 for the person who finds all six heads and the first one who identifies them with like the address and so on where it is mm. will be the winner and uh, it says submit your answers by including the letter name a through f that's self-explanatory the location and addresses of a, of each six heads 
And uh, <laughs> Laura is probably ineligible for this because you've been giving so. away hints on it. Yes. But um, you, you, your contact information, uh, you know, how we get in touch with you to announce the winner mm -hmm. or an email, however you want to do it, or you can walk in the museum. I think I hear someone at the door right, <laughs> right. now, actually. So now when we say the location and the address, we also want to point out if it's like, you know, over the door or something, you know. That, that... I didn't know about these rules. Don't they just well, say the address? Is you that could, enough? You could just say the address, okay. but that's what I was thinking. Okay, okay. Uh, and mm. Laura, Laura Good Newman. Man. Oh, wow. There's Hi, how you doing? Both we of them. We love the photos. Good <laughs> luck with the show. Okay, these are some ex Hobokenites. Yes, right? they okay. actually are, were neighbors. To That's you. right. Lived in yep. Willow Terrace on Seventh mm -hmm. Street, I think. Right. Um, so anyway, you have there's the contact information info at hobokenmuseum.org. So you could email that, and then we have a second and third prize uh, cash. I think we started at 150 for the winner, mm -hmm. 100 for second, second mm -hmm. and 50 dollars for uh, third, place. third place. If someone doesn't get all of them, mm -hmm. uh, let's say they get five and they get it in quickly, uh, and there's no one who gets all six, mm -hmm. you know, we'll award that accordingly. So we will announce the, the winners. It does open tonight and it does end Sunday, April 25th. The reason we picked that April 25th mm -hmm. is that it's when the exhibit ends. That's correct. Okay. Should I add anything else? Does that cover it? I think that will do it. Okay. Okay. And uh, we do want to uh, thank our sponsor for the exhibit. It's Hudson County Office of Cultural and Heritage Affairs, which also includes tourism. That's a lot in there. Mm -hmm. uh, there are great folks there, a county office through our county executive, uh, County Executive DeGeese. And... Uh, we get a grant from them generally, uh, which helps support these exhibits. So a big shout out to them. And Kevin McCloskey <laughs> is great. In. Nice work. Thank I you, love Kevin. uh, Kevin's uh, uh, visual there. Hmm. And Kellyanne Kelly, you know, says fun. a lot of fun. A lot Thank of you. fun. They On are Facebook. fun. And, uh, you know, we always say that if it's not fun, it's not worth doing. So you are hmm. continuing that tradition at the Hoboken Historical Museum. Uh, I do want to say that uh, our next talk will be uh, next Thursday, 7 p.m. live. And I'm trying to think, is that the 21st? I think it's today hmm. the 14th. Uh, they, well, uh, Sunday will be. Oh, Sunday. Sure. Okay, sorry. I. Anyway, next Thursday, <laughs> I can work backwards. And Jack Silbert will be the host. He's actually been interviewed for this program. Mm -hmm. uh, so now he's hosting, and he will be talking to Karen Cool, who is a longstanding musician. Mm -hmm. And Tiffany Fisher is weighing in again, saying, really great, looking forward to seeing the exhibit. Thank and you, Tiffany. And we look forward to seeing Tiffany. Sure. And uh, I do want to thank our producer, director, uh, Rand Hoppe, who's also our collections manager, but he's the one, he's the man behind the curtain, pushing the buttons, moving the slides, mm. keeping us on track, make sure we're not talking too long. And maybe one more screenshot of us. I'm going to show one more chop. Yep, we have to do it. Can. So we're Zooming uh, now, folks. That's right. Um, you know, the Kevin's prints are for sale. They're reasonably priced, and we'd encourage you to take one home. But we also have these great fridge magnets with, uh, shall we say, nine heads on it. Nine sure. of the 555. 55. Yes. Okay, I can't believe it. And uh, so it's been really good to spend yeah. Friday night with you. Please spread the word. And as we're doing this, I'm thinking, what happens if you go to New York? Think of all the <laughs> head possibilities. Yes. So stay in Hoboken. I think sending you to New York could be dangerous. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, signing out. Let's give a big wave okay. and a bye -bye. little bump here. There we okay. go. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. And we'll see you next Thursday. That's our plexi, swinging in the breeze. <laughs>